Hey, what's up everybody? Hope everyone is having a good day so far today. Um, so I do have some important news, which you could tell just from the title, which is, you know, some solid news for the Packers. But also if you notice, I haven't put out a Packers training camp update video today just because um, I'm pretty sure it was like a walkthrough today and there wasn't really, I don't know if the reporters were even there. I don't know if Matt LaFleur let them there today. I don't know exactly, but there wasn't really much to cover from sort of that aspect. So that's why that isn't here today. Um, but we do have some good news for Josiah DeGuara, Packers 2020 third round pick. It came out here from Rob Domofsky probably about an hour or so ago, saying that Packers tied in Josiah DeGuara has been medically cleared and it's off PUP. He tore his ACL in week five. I think he clarified after this, said week four versus the Falcons last season as a rookie. So he's a little less than 10 months out from his injury. Also, linebacker Ray Wilborn has been removed from the COVID list. So that is great news to see that the Packers are getting back a guy in Josiah DeGuara who, you know, has the ability to be that sort of fullback, tight end, hybrid kind of guy, kind of like Kyle Juszczyk uh, on the San Francisco 49ers. And so honestly, I'm excited to see sort of what he can do. We saw him a little bit last season. I honestly barely remember seeing him. I think he played in like 30 snaps last year. So we didn't really get to see too much from him. It's definitely a shame that he went down as early as he did with that ACL tear. But now luckily for him coming off the PUP list, hopefully we'll sort of get to see what he's all about. He was a third round pick. The Packers obviously liked what they saw in him when they drafted him. And so with this, you know, Matt LaFleur offense that lo loves to use, you know, motion, screens, tons of quick stuff, tons of sneaky stuff, you know, some sneaky stuff. I'm excited to see how they decide to use um, Josiah DeGuara. And honestly, overall, with the Packers and their offense now, we have so many different weapons on our team, you know, from Devontae Adams to Robert Tunyon, now Josiah DeGuara. It's probably a little more uncertain with him just because we haven't seen that much from him. But the Packers have so many weapons they can use on offense, so many guys who are just versatile, who can just do so many different kinds of things. So definitely good news for the Packers to be getting um, DeGuara back for this season. So with him, it took him 10 months to heal from that ACL tear. Hopefully, David Bottiari isn't the same because didn't Bottiari hurt his his um, ACL? Wasn't it late December? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was late December. So hopefully, David Bottiari's ACL process is faster than Josiah DeGuara's ACL process. But, you know, the Packers, they're pretty stacked to the offensive line, I'd say, even though we lost Corey Lindsley. So I feel like we should be fine on that front. Um, but that is pretty much all the news I have for today. I haven't seen anything else really going down for the Packers today. Um, if you haven't seen the past few days, we signed um, a defensive tackle yesterday. It was defensive tackle, right? Sometimes I, I lose track of who we've signed occasionally, just occasionally. Um, yeah, we signed, what's his name? I'm blanking on his name. You guys probably are saying it right now to yourself, and you're like, dude, why don't you remember? Um, I'm just blanking completely right now. What's, what's the guy's name? I'm finding it right now. It was Josh Avery. Josh Avery from Southeast Missouri. We signed him yesterday. If you guys haven't seen that news, I put a video on that yesterday. Um, another defensive tackle. And I haven't seen any more signings by the Packers. So I'll keep you guys up to date as always anytime I see some more news on this Packers channel. Um, as you guys know who have been following for a little while. But if you are new, you want to see more Packers news, Packers content, I try to break it as fast as possible. Like the second I get a notification on my phone, I try to like move towards my room, towards my like setup I have right here. Um, I'll, I'll actually show you guys a setup. I've, I don't know if I've showed you guys it before. I'm just trying to... I'm, I'm connected to a mic. This is like real life stuff. Dude. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. If you're still watching, you know, awesome. Thank you for watching. I don't really know what I'm doing. This wasn't planned. This is this is where I run to. I got some coffee there earlier. So as I was saying, um, I try to get to my like setup as quickly as possible and make these videos the second news drops. If I'm not at home, it takes a little longer. And if I don't see it sometimes, you know, then then that's then that's what happens. But um, so if you want to see more news when it comes out, feel free to do that. My mic has just fallen over. Shoot. See, this is how it goes sometimes. This is how it goes sometimes. All right. But that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, if you're still watching after all of this, thank you. I appreciate it. You're the best. I really, I appreciate it. But that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.